With Sean Langman, two days out from the Fastnet race, and you're here. Two days out from the Fastnet race, and I can't believe I'm here, actually. it's uh, It's been a bit of an epic from shipping Maluka from Sydney to Cork. Initially, I thought, oh, Ireland, that's a long way, and I had a most glorious three weeks cruising from Cork to Southampton, and I've been here uh, before the crew arrived just doing race prep while the boys kept running notes and sending me my allowance. <laughs> and uh, when did you make the decision about bringing Maluka to the Fastnet and why? Well really it came about, I was visiting relatives uh, in the UK this time last year and uh, went down to a great friend of mine, Laura Jones Place down around Barry, um, down in Wales. and. Looking around the waterways around there and the Bristol Channel I, and I, places I'd read about as a kid, I thought, wow, wouldn't it be great to have a small cruising boat in the UK? And then when I started to think about it, I thought, well, we've got a few boats in Australia. And then Sun Pete won Division 5 IRC in the Sydney Hobart race. And I, you know, I put it to Pete. I said, oh, if we do the fast scent, you now, would you be willing to come? And he said, yeah, I'll be in that. Then great mate Josh, long-suffering Josh Alexander, he, uh, he said, oh, I'm coming too. And then... Pete Inchbold that uh, runs Noakes Rec Business had his bottom lip quivering in the corner. I said, do you want to come too? And he said, yes. And Gordon Maguire that joined the Money Penny program fairly late uh, last season, um, he has been doing some other work for us. And I said, oh, look, it's not, you know, sort of part of the job description, but what do you think about Fastnet? And he said, oh, you know, I thought you were selling Money Penny. And I said, no, no, I'm shipping Maluka. And he actually didn't give it a second thought. He said, no, I'm up for that. <laughs> so here we are, uh, Intrepid 5. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Great crew, great mates. It's going to be good fun. And a hell of a lot of logistics. Just tell us very briefly about what you mostly had to do once you get started to get the boat over here. Well, really, the logistics you know, starts with shipping. Uh, Seven started the shipping. Initially, we're going, to, we're going to ship with the rig up on deck. And then they said, oh, we think you, we can fit you below deck with the mast up. So that was pretty exciting, but the rig was just one foot too tall. So we did ship with the, um, you know, with the, the rig up, oh, sorry, the rig down, down below. And uh, we got to Cork, really looked after incredibly well by Neil Kennefleck and his team in Crosshaven. And uh, um, Gordon Maguire and I spent a solid week there getting the boat ready and than the cruise. Um, it's great, small drafted boats, small cruising boats in this part of the world. So many beautiful rivers that all have beautiful English pubs. <laughs> so I've had a great time so far. So what did you, what was the purpose of going to Cork first? Presumably to just get a bit of the lay of the land, was it? Well, we ended up doing sort of the course, half the course in reverse, I suppose. You look at it that way. So for me, that was really good because I'm not a tidal sailor. I'm not, not, not used to it. It's not something that's um, you know been in our sort of box of tricks in Australia um, so there was a lot to learn there and um, clouds sort of talked us through it each day where we should be and where we shouldn't be it's when the tide goes out as you probably know in this in this part of the world it doesn't go in the same direction there's various tidal streams got a bit on here with the the red funnel and um, there's various Tidal streams we had to learn about, so that was good to do it in reverse. What's your head, Josh? Um, but it wasn't really about a decision. Just press on it there, Joshy. Um, got real live, real live action. <laughs> it, it wasn't really a decision for the race to go to Cork. That that was the closest that we could get, and it just panned out really well. How many fastlet races? Obviously, Maguire's had a few. Josh has had. So he's zero with me. Pete's done one. Yeah, so basically four of us are going to be down below sleeping and Maguire's going to take it the whole way. <laughs> it's brilliant. The good thing about Maluka is that well, one of the things you really should do is just take your watch off. You know, like you start watching your watch, you, you're going to slash your wrist. So the go is to just keep her tr trumping along and, um, you know, don't try and sail too high. You know, it's just about just getting water under the keel and, and staying on the making leg and, you know, hopefully, um, you know, the, the vagaries of uh, this part of the world, you know, we, we slot in the right part of it. Uh, and um, you're the smallest boat in the fleet, I think I'm right in saying, is that right? I believe so. Yes. And uh, so who are going to be your, quotes competitors, I guess, in that realm? The, 
the we're significantly the smallest boat. Apparently, I did the wrong thing by placing bets with Sigma 38s. Apparently, they're pretty quick, but I'd never seen one. So I did the sea survival the other day with a couple of crews from them. So I said, do you bet jugs in this country? And they said, what's that? And I said, well, pitcher of beer or rum or whatever. And they said, yeah, what do you want to do? And I said, well, let's place a few bets. And they said, on IRC. And I said, no, online. We only do line on us. So, so that'll be you chose Sigma thirty eight, Sean. Yeah, I chose. I chose. Well, I I thought that'd be all right, but apparently they're pretty slippery. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to prepay the bet. So, worry, we'll be trying to win it. So, what special changes have you made to the boat? We've heard about the cup holders, but you've been doing some stuff with sails and other things as well. I saw really. Yeah, sails wise, and we've got it set up now. Um, You know, I, I I I often sort of giggle at the. You know the the modern boats now with exotic um, storm jibs, and and we went the same way with money penny, you know, save weight, uh, but we never actually set it up to be able to hoist it in anger, other than it had to be there. Um, so you know, Dacron storm jib, it's actually not that heavy on this boat. Um, I suppose it's heavy for the boat, but not so heavy in general. So whilst I've been working away in Southampton, I uh, decided to set up a baby stay, so now we can triple head. And you know, we hope we get a bit of that, It'd be fun. Um, triple yeah, heading. So, so yeah, we're triple heading, we've got a brand new, from Doyle, a brand new, they call J2, and what I called in the old language, the 3020. So you raced everything from 18 foot skiffs to maxis and goodness only knows what. what. Do you actually have to have a change of mindset when you get on Maluka, or is it really just, same thing, different techniques. It's a lot different. Um, it's a lot more relaxing, to tell the truth. I, you know, put a lot of pressure on yourself racing big boats. Um, you know, and Money Penny. Uh, you know, we we put in a lot of effort. You know, like last season and hitting a sunfish the first afternoon um, was probably the most demoralised I've ever been in, in a sailboat uh, because it was really almost negligent to continue. And it's in the back of your mind that the rudder stock might break and that sort of thing, you've got a hole in the boat. So I had not heart in my mouth the whole time and, and really the last part of that race, it was so fresh running, the boat was lighting up and basically had to bail for our lives, it, your, your mindset changes. But, but you know, the Maluka, <coughs> it's always about getting to the other end um, and enjoying the challenge of getting to the other end. That's, that's the, the way to go. Um, and yeah, look, there's going to be times when you get exhilarated on uh, on Maluka and there's times when you're going to be frustrated but um, you know it has got a nine foot long quarter berth with a very thick cushion and I just bought new pillows.